It's time for 18 Battle Bola Bear. Ah, okay. Wish I could. And here I was thinking of doing a Russian accent. Wish I could. But then I realized this game was 18 goddamn minutes long. I mean, to voice over. The game itself is ridiculously long. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, runes were armor pen red 3, 6 attack speed reds, armor yellow, magic resistance scaling blues, uh, attack damage quints, 9, 21 masteries. Alright, start off, you know, getting a leash, go off the gank top because Riven needs to die. Riven is one of the, well, one of the easiest gang junk I mean laners to, to gank because they often want to go all in as you can see she kind of pretty much already tried uh, to fight in the Jace and because of that she's gonna pay I'm gonna bite her face off right now um, there we go delicious delicious you know tanned meat so go off to gank middle it's another Jace I know blind pick oh my god blind pick is terrible it doesn't matter anyways I I thought my leap I mean my toss would have lasted long enough so I would have tossed him back Either way, I have gank top and mid. Now I'm gonna go gank bottom. Then V jumps at me. I run for my life. Get blasted. Bottom lane is for some reason up here too. Ezra jumps at me, blasts me, misses one Q. And I survive by the passive, I guess. That was kind of like a burst heal. I don't know where that came from. Either way, uh, seems as my uh, golos were taken. Top lane has a warty yet, despite the fact that she has, you know boards in her pockets so I'm kind of just sitting here waiting for opportunity and opportunity rises when she dashes through oh no she gets shot come on dash through oh no wait she's gonna face check yes she'll face check the bush then ow let's take this bite slam toss back yeah that was that looks cool basically put his cues like the singe um, of course it's a singe fling and they both have that whole scarner thing where it doesn't matter if you flash it or anything it still tosses you it makes you sad. It hurts your heart. Anyways, farm up. I've got two, well, two kills under my belt. I've got Madrid Razor, and I I'm building myself a uh, Mercury Threads. Treads, there we go. Either way, Genki Bottom V decides to try to kill Draven. I flip, Dra uh, what's her face? V near the turret. Ezra flies right in, gets blasted by the turret, and dies. V gets to escape, and then I guess just to get this free farm. Eh, come on, Italy. That was a bit of the lag thing. I mean, not the activation ultimate, the reaction to it. I thought the fling would hit, so I clicked R, and then it activated anyways. I was hoping to activate R as I flinged, but even then, I kind of missed the fling anyways. So, go gank top. She does have a ward, but the ward is near the bush, so reaction time wasn't going to be the greatest thing ever. In fact, you saw the, well, the ward die right now. Flyer. I mean, rush at her, use my ultimate, and then she just gets killed by lightning blasts. Lightning blasts. Go mid, take some CS, go get the raids, get that. I'll be able to buy a giant's belt soon, yay. Well, actually, I can buy a giant's belt. Go back, buy a giant's belt. I don't think I bought anything else, nope. So bottom lane isn't having the best game possible. There's not much I can do, except and I'd rather much kill bottom, uh, mid lane and top lane, who are pretty much delicious. I, I was hoping we'd be able to kill the Jace, but no, Teemo was out of range of those things. Either way, top lane is once more delicious. I think top lane knows that she's going to get destroyed, so she's trying to push the, t the minions, trying to keep it away from the tower. Uh, so easily put, she's put down. Take that. Like I said, I, I was thinking maybe I could do a Russian accent like Russian better is number one. But I don't think I would be able to keep that up for, I don't know, 18 minutes. So, Jace knows he has no chance in hell of escaping. I don't know why, though. I, I think he could make a good effort. And we easily kill him. And what's, her fa what's his face? Timo almost dies and uses a panic flash, which wasn't necessary. But even that player understood it was pretty much unnecessary. Finally, the what's his face? Riven has a ward there. I can't gank her anymore. So, bottom lane needs my help. Jace is right there. They're trying to dive bottom. I go in there. I flip a minion. Like, ah, whatever. At least I can bite Jace's face off, anyways. So, I got a kill. And then here goes another fight. Ezra tries to use his ult, so I flash Q him. And then I run through him so I don't get blasted by a Q by, I don't know, hopefully missing him missing it. And it worked out. 
He died. I died, though. Mm. Anyways, by Warmog, 16 minutes in. Ah, I am Bolivar. I am powerful. I go mid. I start fighting Jace. Activate Thunderclaws. I was hoping he'd hit another mushroom instead of just one. I almost killed him. Then V decides to fight me. Well, no. Wait, come on. Uh, does she? No. I flip her in. Shock her. Keep Jason. He didn't get to teleport. Now we get to take out the turret. Yeah. 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 Look, this is the fun part. This is what I mentioned by being this old old thing. Charge in, he knocks me back, but I flip him back anyways and bite his face off. Yeah. Pretty boy, your face is my dessert now. Wee. Riven goes in. I, we ignore her for the most part. Take the, it'll take the raids, go back. Buy a chains vest and a ward. So, yeah, Sunfire came okay, for this. Volibear. Anyways, engage on Ezra. He already used his little uh, escape thing, so he makes an easy picking. I activate Thunderclaws just to make sure I can kill him, because screw Ezra. I go right after Jace. No, Draven's here. So, start bashing him. Draven picks up the kill. Yeah. I need to kind of recover bottom lane, hopefully giving him some kills and some gold. So, we take this uh, dragon easily, then I think get another blue. There's no way I'm going to donate it to uh, Timo. And Lux, I, I kind of flipped it out of her laser, so I ended up just getting it for myself. Top lane just died. I'm going to hide in here, hopefully somebody face checks it. But no, instead Jace tries to go in and maybe saw the Lux try to kill her. But it becomes a 2v1 now. Uh, flip him, dice him, slash him, kill the Riven first because she's the bigger threat in my opinion. And easily put... put Jay, they couldn't handle that yet. Yeah, Lux came in and helped, but then Lux, you know, dies. Mew. Okay, there you go. She's dead. I got that a little too early. Get some CS. Now I have a Sunfire Cape. The Cape of the Suns. Alright. So, with that said, I'm pretty bestial and powerful. I initiate on the Ezreal. And I flip up. Yeah, take that. I'm slow as fuck, though. Yeah. Ow. Oh, you bitch. Ah, here's Jace too. It's a 3v3, except my teammates kind of, besides the Lux, don't bother showing up and they, in fact, kind of ran away. Either way, we get one kill out of that. It's okay. We still have, like, I don't know, the game lasted 35 minutes. This video is 18 minutes, so we got 11 minutes here. Okay, anyways. <clears throat> Next item up for up to build is the locket, uh, the Iron Solari, which of course either way here look, flash in I Q I mean I Q flashed Ezreal and then they're just gonna stand in the corner of the group, get destroyed by lightning, get destroyed by laser, and get destroyed by everything we had. So pretty much our AOE dominated them. Anyhow, as I was trying to say, wait. I'm gonna buy a locket, which, as you know my history, I tend to forget to use it. And will I forget to use it this game? Most definitely so, and in very important spots. So, yeah, I have to get in the habit of using that item. It's like, I kind of, I, I don't understand why though, I mean, why I forget. I mean, I use Randuin's Omen a lot. I use Trerelia's a lot. I don't know why, so the locket is a damn thing I tend to forget to use. Either way, okay, either way, I'm pretty fed, I'm pretty farmed for a jungler, jungle ball bear. So here we go, we need to engage on them, because I think at some point we're going to lack severe damage. Our team isn't in exactly the most team fight capable team, as because we don't complement each other that well. So, and their team... Kind of does, come, um, at least better than ours. So, team fighting is going to become an issue the longer we drag this out. I buy an oracles to help us look for things. A lucky snare on what's her face. Nidalee gets her trapped. She decides to go through mushrooms for whatever reason. And then, well, one mushroom, bam. And then because of that, we're able to catch her and destroy her. Then, fight engages, they jump on Lux. I go back to try to protect her. This is a spot I should have used my uh, locket. Either way, Oh yeah, also I don't have lightning hands because I used it like an idiot trying to chase a Nidalee. However, I can still dice this, you know, ribbon to pieces. Timo picks it up though. Here through 2v1. I'm not going to have the damage to take him out and I'll probably be killed before then. So, and now I remember to use the goddamn locket. Yeah. Either way, well, at least it wasn't a total wipe. Yay, Stonewall. Pick up the golem. Go back. Buy nothing. 
I have an oracles to use. I should have bought home guard at this point, but I tend to forget also that boots have a tier three function now, most of the time at least. Uh, trying to grab somebody, Jace initiates, gets pretty much hand blasted. Draven almost gets killed. I uh, somebody else in my team used a locket. I jump in, try to keep the Riven from destroying the Jace and Lux. So she gets killed. I turn on the V and start dicing her to pieces. Eh, Flipper before she tries to, you know, teleport. I think I don't know if she wanted to punch us. So dice her, turn her around, see if I can catch the Ezreal even with the stupid ass lows. Almost, but of course, yeah, has got a little blinking escape thingy of evilness. And then Nidalee's a bitch. So go back. Next item is looking to be Static Shiv, which I actually regret buying now. I was told by somebody, Static Shiv is a great item on Rollerbear, and honestly, I felt probably an AD item would have been better, or hell, Rylai Scepter. I probably should not have gone Static Shiv. It's... It's not going to be as useful. I mean, it could be good on him, but it turned out to be pretty useless on him in this game. So, jump right in there, pop Thunder Paws, and start dicing at people. And take this V, and bite her, she gets picked off. I attack Nidalee, I, fl I, fl I mean, flip the Ezreal, back off when I get ignited, and then flash Q the Ezreal, bam, back so he can get killed by the Draven. I back off, I'm tanking the turret a little bit, and Draven picks up the kill on Nidalee, and with that we get to push down the inhibitor. <laughs> there we go. Back up, take the wolves, go home by, no, wait, no, wait for Teemo to kill the dragon, then buy some static shivs. Alright then. So far, so good. I mean, we have more kills, but and but the problem is most of those kills are on me. Uh, as good as um, as good as a fed Volibear can be, or fed anybody can be, it would have been much better on the Lux or the Draven. Draven. All right, we catch Nidalee right now. We catch her out of position, snared, so that means I get to go in there and flip her. She's got nowhere to go, and we just dice her to pieces. Then a uh, V goes straight for the Draven, jumps him. I go in there to protect him and start biting her face off. She flashes over the wall. I turn my attention to the other guys, flash him. I actually use my locket this time. I start. Tr I try to kill the Riven. I try to dice her by getting into the bush. She. I die. Draven dies. It's a 1v1 fight between Jace and the Ezreal, and the Ezreal is going to uh, win. Okay, so Ezreal wins the fight. Ah, that sucked. Alright, so there's five more minutes in this game. Will my team accomplish the victory? Everybody eats, everybody works, and everybody has a mustache. So, Anyways, I only saw the ward as I was charging at them, so they knew I was there. If they didn't, it would have been a great initiation catching somebody squishy off guard. So, <clears throat> now I seek to sell my Madrid Razor for another offensive item, because it's becoming apparent we need offense. God help us if they buy Guardian Angels. I flip the Jace, here comes all the, uh, you know, ra skill shots and range attacks and everything. I chase the Jace while Riven gets butchered by my teammates. So we got, you know, one for no one for nothing. Might as well take it. Inhibitor is up and I want my team to go in there and take it. So let's go. Mow it down, fellas. We take out the inhibitor, Jace jumps on Jace, starts fighting, backs off, and I flip the V, and she quickly just gets butchered by my teammates. Blah. Bam, we get hit by AoE, Teemo flashes thinking she was going to die. Alright. Ezreal goes right in, I just flash Q him, and then he just gets des destroyed. I die by Ignite. And I think it was Ignite, yeah, and Ignite or Realizer, I don't know what the hell they got had. Jace comes in, kills Jace, chases after the Lux, and so now I have an Atmos Impaler. I'm thinking, you know what, I'm bad at math, but 4100 health, I think Atmos Impaler is actually good now. I don't do math, but either way, I, I didn't want to sacrifice the armor that Madrids gave me, but I also didn't want to keep Madrids. 
Elixir. Go home by Red Elixir. I'm becoming powerful. I have 200, 213 AD with, you know, a lot of defenses and health so i'm a big fat ass bear i'm like this is gonna be i think the next initiation is a very poor one for me it's getting at this point kind of desperate anyways i have my drink here I, but i haven't drunk from it i go right in there i flip the wrong target because you know it's a clusterfuck hopefully we can pick up somebody V grabs Lux, then my teammates just start falling one by one. Uh, I use Locket this time, but it's not enough. I run away. They try to go after the Draven. He survives, though. I go back. I heal. I haven't bought Home Guard yet, which I really, really should. I shouldn't have bought these elixirs. I should have got a Home Guard. Whatever. Farm up for Home Guard Stonewall. Remember that there's here three items exist. And I still don't buy a home guard. I buy oracles, which is actually a good purchase anyway. So, take gotta take out those wards. Gotta boom. I flip the Jace, and he's quickly eviscerated by my teams. I activate Thunder Hands, and we start butchering them. I flash away from Ezreal's ultimate because I don't want to get butchered. We turn on what's her face V, and I mean, uh, I try to struggle to get close to her and take her out. Take that, scratch your eyes off, bam. But, of course, I have no chance of hell of surviving. I get picked off, I lose the oracles, then Jace gets killed. Basically put, we're having a lot of issues in the team fights now. We really needed more damage. Either from, I should have purchased something better than the Static Shiv, or, you know, obviously, teammates shouldn't have gotten destroyed earlier. But there was not much I could do to help their lanes out. Timo, I don't actually remember Timo's items. If anything, we probably should have just tried to poke him down using Lux with 40% cooldown reduction and Jace before fighting them. But they did have a Nidalee, a support Nidalee, of course, but the support Nidalee went uh, AP because of the longevity of this game. They're, they're gearing up for Baron, which is something we may not be able to stop them from doing. I'm trying to do Baron. We catch Nidalee, you know, out of position and quickly eviscerate her. I start scratching at V and I foolishly use both my locket and my ultimate. I'm like, the fuck was that stuff? Well, there's no team fight going on. And I got really hurt. I saw my cooldown is, I mean, my ultimate is on cooldown and my uh, locket is too. They're trying to do Baron and I'm pretty damn sure they've almost got it. So I go in and I think they just destroyed it. I go back. I have home guard now. I just rush right in there like a Russian mare. Right? Line of sight issues here. I'm able to toss Ezreal into the laser, use my ultimate, and then bite his neck off. Jace comes in and uh, Lux as well, but they're very low health. I think that you're going to get picked off. Here, V dies. I get killed. Jace and Lux try to fight the other Jace. But he's got Guardian Angel, he's not going down, Lux gets dropped, and with that, Nidalee and Jace are going to take her in, in, in inhibitors and the Nexus, and we lose this game, oh no.